Hey, yo, bros and mofos, what is going down? Um, I want to show you guys something real quick here on State of Decay 2. Uh, now, a lot of you guys that are playing this probably know how hard it is to come by uh, 762 ammo and 552 ammo for your uh, like assault rifles and sniper rifles and stuff like that. So, I want to show you guys how to actually craft uh, that ammo. And we're also talking about 50 calibers and the grenades that you shoot from grenade launchers here, which I think is like the 20 millimeter uh, grenade. So we're going to be talking about how to craft each of those here on this episode because, man, those things, like, you want to use these cool, like, scars and AKs and, like, M16s that you're finding, but you just never have the ammo. So, like, you have to put it on single shot uh, instead of burst or full auto because, you know, you're going to waste all your ammo with full auto. So... Uh, maybe now this is helping you guys switch your uh, assault rifles to full auto because you'll probably have a shit ton of ammo to actually do it with. Uh, so the first way I want to talk about is kind of a more general approach, which is like an early game thing uh, that I was doing for a while, uh, but it wouldn't give me the exact ammo. So this method is how to, um, let's see, break down ammo from your storage from your resources or whatever that ammo and breaking it down into random ammo so what you do is go to uh your let's see heavy duty storage is that it yeah go to your storage menu and then go over to the second icon that says sort ammo this will take one ammo from your resources and give you a bunch of random ass calibers so that's what i was doing but even then rarely would i get 762 or 552 ammo and uh i would never get 20 millimeter grenades or 50 caliber rifles i mean uh 50 caliber uh you know rounds so this is like a general way but if you ever come across a mod which is the second uh, way we're going to talk about the second and third way well i guess it's the second way but on two different facilities anyway if you ever come across a mod called uh let's see the ammo press the heavy ammo press keep it I actually I keep all mods I pretty much keep everything that's possibly lootable uh, but definitely 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 do not get rid of your facility mods um let's see where was I oh up at the top the ammo press this is a badass very rare mod it allows you to craft 50 caliber rounds and 40 millimeter grenades this is the heavy ammo press there's also going to be a uh, let's see I think it's like a medium or a light heavy press I'm going over here to my forge I installed it on my forge and it is called the hey, anyone? I need some help. rifle ammo press so this is for the 556 oh I think I was saying 552 uh, anyway 556 and 762 rounds so you can actually go right over here to craft rifle rounds in the forge inventory and I think you can put these mods on the forge or the workshop I'm not sure if it's even limited to either of those maybe you can put it on like the farm too I don't know anyway uh, you can go to craft rifle rounds and you can choose which one you want um, the 556 rounds it's gonna give you 45 rounds for the cost of two uh, resource ammo so um, yeah I mean that's a pretty good deal though just go loot like go max out your ammo storage and then uh, come back and do this a couple times and you've got I mean quite a few hours of rounds especially if you're on single auto which is what a lot of people do um, but anyway so if you're trying to craft the 762 rounds it's gonna give you the same amount we're talking 45 but it's gonna cost three resource ammo instead of two because 762 rounds are for the stronger rifles and it's just gonna be uh, more rare like that is so uh, we're gonna go check out the heavy one that I have installed in the workshop we can go right over to the right, craft heavy duty rounds, and we're talking about 10 50 caliber bullets for the cost of three resource ammo and three 40 millimeter grenades for the cost of three resource ammo. And I think I was calling these 20 millimeter rounds earlier. So that is how to craft ammo dudes, uh, along with the first way, but I don't really recommend you do the first way because 
I did the first way a lot, and I'm gonna go show you my supply locker now. Uh, I pretty much have like an endless supply of like five millimeter. Uh, let me see. Let's go to my guns, and we'll see. You can see all these, which I've been using a lot of my nine, uh, nine millimeter, but we've got a whole lot of 12 gauge shells, uh, 44. Well, I've been using all these down since I stopped using my rifles, but uh, I did have like a couple hundred of each of these. Uh, 500, almost 622 caliber, 420, 45 caliber, um, you know, 70, what is that, 78, 357 calibers. Uh, I have been stocking up, like I said, my 762. Every now and then I'll come and craft some down and just let it sit in my locker. Uh, but I've got like 157 now. Uh, 50 calibers they were impossible to come by I had never ever ever looted any and I've almost looted this entire county that I'm in and I finally found one uh, in a store that came with a clip of seven but since then I never found any still so uh, that's whenever I crafted some down and also a friend gave me a, a handful of them so there we go that goes from zero 50 caliber bullets to hopefully a couple hundred one day uh, one day soon. I might start crafting more of those because I love that rifle. Um, anyway, so that's how to craft that ammo. Um, I did actually just get my grenade launcher the other day, so I think I'm going to take that out for a spin. I only have one bullet, but at least we can check out the damn... Oh, no, I don't. I have eight bullets. Okay. We're going on a uh, grenade launcher run. I'm equipping that, and we're going out here to test this out together. I've not tested this out at all. I didn't know I had so many grenades. I'm not sure that I want to shoot it in my parking lot because I'm probably going to mess something up. So we're going to hop in the Zed Buster. Oh, I've got company. Oh, he died. What? He ran into the spikes and died. That's awesome. What? I did not know this truck did that. Dude, that's so useful because they always jump on the truck. Dude. Wow, that's awesome. I love this truck. And what about the back end? Oh shit, what was that? Oh my god, that was a freaking That was a feral. It just killed it just like touching it. Oh my god. Alright, anyway, we're checking out the grenade launcher, not the Z Buster, so I'm trying to find a group of zombies, maybe a horde. Oh, I've got an idea, dudes. Let's go to this uh what was it, an infestation? up the road it's quite a ways up the road though so might be a little drive here and if I come across a horde I'll probably come across a horde before I get to the infestation so if I do come across a horde I'll just take those down instead you know what I'm thinking I can just sit here and honk and they'll probably come out running to me let's see And then I can just kind of turn around and bust them all at once. With the grenade launcher. I think this grenade launcher is really going to help clear some plague cards too. Uh, in the upcoming counties. Because man, those things were getting really hard. Alright, there are actually quite a few zombies. Uh, a bit more than I expected by doing this honking method. And uh, I'm trying to just look for a good place to get out and have enough time to shoot this thing. Alright, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Let's take this guy out. Oh, God. Oh, no. I shot myself. I shot the zombie right in front of me. Oh, God. Oh god. I don't know if it, uh, does it like blow up on contact or like what? Okay, it blows up on contact. It is not like just sit around and wait. Let's we'll see if I shoot at the floor. Yep, it blows up on contact. Let's get the heck out of here. Alright, actually I've got one more bullet. We're gonna use it. Oh my god! Let's see, hopefully this works. There's a lot of zombies. Come on, take them all out. Oh, it took about half of them out. All right, I'm sold. I'm definitely using one of these on Playguard. I think it's gonna do a lot of damage. Let's see. Let's get these people off me. Jesus Christ. 
I'm loving the fact that this truck actually kills them just by barely touching them uh, in the front. I think that's awesome. I did a video actually on how to um, how to upgrade your trucks and stuff like that. So if you guys want to know how to do that, if you don't already, go check out that video. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is craft some little like upgrade kits uh, from your auto shop. But anyway, maybe I'll do a video on like all the upgraded vehicles. I don't know. I'm about to change counties soon, like today, hopefully. And I'm kind of nervous that I'm not going to be able to bring on my cars and shit. Because i got a lot of vehicles, man. Like, that's going to be really upsetting when I can't even keep them all. But anyway, dudes. All I wanted to do is show you guys how to craft this ammo. So hopefully you guys can start using your uh, rifles and stuff like that a little bit more. Uh, anyway, dudes. I will catch you guys on the flip-flop. Do do wop do do wop do do wop